Prior to the presidential election, all candidates and party chairmen signed peace accord two times to ensure peaceful pause. Before the announcement of the presidential results, the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP rejected the results, alleging irregularities in some states. The PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar also rejected the results, promising that he will seek redress in court. In a way to ensure that, despite the grievances of the PDP and its candidate, peace is maintained. The Peace Committee, headed by former head of state Abdesalam Abubakar, met with Atiku Abubakar and his running mate Peter Obi. In an interview after the meeting, Abdesalam Abubakar said the meeting is aimed at dousing tension. The Peace Committee is always interested in ensuring that uh, there is peace in the country. Apparently now tensions are high and we need to see how uh, we can uh, douse the situation. We have come to listen to the uh, uh, grievances from the PDP and then we will continue shuttling to see how we can uh, make sure that this peace is maintained. Okay. But naturally when you are dealing with it, of course you need to contact all the stakeholders. The question that many will ask is would the meeting between Atiku and the Peace Committee stop him from challenging the outcome of the presidential results? Al Hassan Bala, ITV News, Abuja.